Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? I have my water again. Yesterday was McDonald's triple triple with a shot of vanilla. Today is, I think we're going to A&W for our fast food coffee trials today. Uh, I don't think they have vanilla shots, but I'm slowly trying to show Jimmy that, hey, guess what? Not everybody gets flavor, foo-foo, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta be a blue collar coffee type of dude, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's very helpful to start my day with water. And my vitamins, lots of vitamins. Vitamins, gotta get some Bs. Mm -hmm. B and D and all the others. It's important. Have you ever felt like something's missing? Because you're just living life and there's just that thing that's niggling at you. It's usually fun. Fun often goes by the wayside when the world is overwhelming. When the kids are rambunctious and driving you crazy. When there's serious things to talk about amongst friends and family. If people are not well, it's hard to find that time for fun. And often a sign of a mental health struggle is the exit of fun. I was chatting with Hannah about that last night and I was like, it's a very heavy time in this world right now. And you need to grasp the fact that sometimes you need to get out of your room. You need to come and engage with family and go for a walk. So we went for a walk yesterday and we got out our cat carrier and Stella sacrificed herself for, for the sake of the family. And um, she wasn't really wanting to do so. I can't say it was voluntarily uh, sacrificial, but she didn't hate me too much when we were done. And it, we had fun. We laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And yes, Stella almost ran away from our family a couple of times because she was like, I don't want to be part of this family. This family is weird. And we probably disturbed some neighbors at the park, but it's a park. And it was fun. And I was like, yeah, that's been missing for a bit. Not because what I'm doing isn't fun, but play with no agenda. And I think it's high time you took the time to do some sort of play without agenda. Turn everything off. I at one point said, what time is it? And the only one that brought the phone was Carl. And I'm glad he brought the phone because I didn't know what, like Jimmy had drum lessons to go to. And none of us brought our phones. It was good. It was really, really good. And I think it's time for that kind of play where I don't have to worry about what's coming next. So. You know what? Invite some people over for a games night. Doesn't have to be a lot. It could just be the people down the hall that keep going to their rooms at night and hiding away because they're teenagers and that's what they do. But it's time for some fun. Ash Wednesday is a traditional day to look at our wickedness and our sinfulness and the evils of the world and guess what every day is that day right now every day is like that right now and Jesus came to flip things on its head Jesus came to say I'm gonna redeem this and so redeem Ash Wednesday by saying you know what I'm free 
I'm because of Christ, I'm free. I'm free to play. I'm free to have joy in my life and focus on something good. How about you do that with your Ash Wednesday? Instead of beating yourself up, instead of sitting, complaining, or frustrated with the world, because yeah, it's still going to be there. Once the game is put away in the box, don't forget all the pieces that spilled on the floor, the world will still be there. But now you will have some joy to help you walk through it. Find some fun. Find some fun. Enjoy. Tell me what you did today. Out of the way of regular life, tell me tomorrow what you did to find fun. Know that I love you. Bye.